Okay, so I want to demonstrate briefly how to bake night lighting onto your models. Um, so basically this is a kind of a toy hanger I made some time ago. And um, this is basically this hanger is in the same state as what you would expect from watching my blender hanger tutorial videos. I think there's like one or two of those videos out there. So then you have that hanger, uh, you made some textures for it, and you added some ambient occlusion to add a little shading to it. And now you need to make some uh, night textures. Okay. So this can actually be accomplished relatively easily in Blender. Um, there's a couple details here and there that you need to watch out for as you're doing this. So, in the blender, you have these um, lamps. Uh, these are light sources. When I'm adding in some night light into a model, I usually start out with a point lamp. So, I'm going to move it out in the front a little bit. Okay. And now, generally, before you add a lamp, um, you want to go over here to your uh, material menu. Make sure you assign a material. Um, Get some color. Now, sometimes you might have multiple uh, images mapped to the same object. That's not the case with this blender, uh, with this model, but sometimes it is the case. In that case, you need to select all the um, all the mesh that's associated with one that one particular texture, and assign it its own unique material. Okay. In this case, I don't know how to do that, but if you did, um, an easy way to do to select all those appropriate me uh, faces is to select one face and then press shift G and then say this is basically select similar and you want to select similar by image okay and since this is all the map to the same image it's selected everything okay and as you can see we're good to go if we go to solid view you can see it's all assigned Okay, so now after you've done that, you want to go to the texture menu and add a new texture. So we press new and we'll open. Well, first of all, I want to make sure the type right here is set to image or movie. Usually it's not set to this by default. So you set it to image or movie and then you press open and uh, want to navigate to our texture that we made. So I believe it's this one. Okay, so you kind of see a preview here. I generally select the UV map thing here <laughs> um, and select UV coordinates. Okay. Now, if we go to the material viewport shading you'll see that our light looks correct now okay and what you'll notice is that this image the model still looks kinda dark that's actually okay you'll still actually be able to see the uh, if it's if it's completely black on the texture you'll still actually be able to see the model partially in flight sim but sometimes I like to add a little very light ambient light across the whole model so th the way you can do that is um, is add a hemi lamp here so I did that I'm gonna move it up and over so it doesn't really matter where I put it it kinda lights up everything and then I can just uh, lower the intensity of this light so, just kind of like that. Again, I'm in, I'm in material viewport shading so I can see things uh, change on the fly here. I really lower the intensity. I mean, I just want a very small amount of ambient light across the whole model in this case. Okay, so we decided we want a light here, which we have one. And we'll now go ahead 
Well, so you'll notice you have this kind of ugly specular thing going on here, which we don't really want on our texture. You can see it right there. Um, so you want to turn that off. It also can kind of bleed through faces, uh, which is not good. So right under here, under the with the lamp selected, you can look at the lamp's uh, object menu here and uncheck specular. You can do the same thing for the Hemi, although it doesn't seem to be causing the same issue as much, but it is there. Okay. Perhaps I want this light to be a little more uh, yellow um, or something, so I can do that by changing the color that it emits. Uh, let's see, I don't want to spend too much time playing around with this, but usually requires a fine touch. Okay, so I made a little off-white now and maybe you want to change down the energy just to turn it down a little bit and perhaps now I want like some lights over these doors, there's a door here so what we can do is slap our 3D cursor right there above the door so our, our new light source ends up there and we'll add a, uh, a spotlight we have to scale it way down Then I'll move it out just a little bit. Okay. And maybe move it up. So you can kind of play around with this, scale it, and all sorts of things. Kind of get yourself a spotlight effect if you want. And I'll move it over here. I, I tend not to use these as often. I don't think they look as realistic in a lot of cases, but sometimes I do. I'll rotate it 90 degrees. Alright, so you kind of get the idea. You can kind of play around with those things. Okay, now we can try to bake this, but I don't think it's going to work, and I'll tell you, show you why in a second. So we'll go down to, we'll go back to the render menu here, with our object selected. Um, we want to create a new image here, just so that we don't accidentally overwrite our daytime texture. So I'll just you know make a new one, something like that. Okay, and then I'll turn down the margin. And here we want to set the bake mode to full render. And then we'll press bake. Now as you notice it's not baking correctly, so we need to figure out why. <laughs> Yes, actually, so here's one problem is we need to take all our geometry and move it to map it to the new image here. Okay. And let's perhaps try this again. Okay, there we go. So at first, at first glance, it looks like it's doing the right thing, but then you notice there's no uh, lights baked to it. So generally what causes that in my case is that I'll have been... Uh, baking ambient occlusion and if you're familiar with how I do that here in the world menu there's this thing called ambient occlusion this checkbox and yeah I check that before I bake bake the AO well that messes things up over here when you're trying to bake the light so you need to make sure that's unchecked so that's very important that you check that if you mess around with that at all and now we'll try and bake again and this time everything worked. So you can see our lights are baked on to the texture. Um, so now we can uh, view this texture by just going straight to, to change the viewport shading to texture and I'm going to turn off the lamp so we can see how it looks. 
So I'm going to change it to our scene to selected, and then turn off their camera rendering things. <laughs> I think that's all I had to do, but maybe not. Oh well, maybe I have to delete them. Okay, there we go. And so there we have it. This is just uh, straight up the texture, how the texture looks like on our model. And so what you can do is load your model when you convert it, export it to Flight Sim. You load it into your Model Converter X, and then you add, you save this texture here in Blender, and you add it as a night texture in Model Converter X. So I hope that's useful to some of you.